Hi, welcome to Japan Objects. My name is Billy Matsunaga and I am a professional kimono teacher living in Kumamoto, Japan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a kimono belt, a so-called obi, which is probably the most beautiful feature of a kimono, and it completes your kimono look. If you need any help with putting on a kimono, check out my other video, How to Wear a Kimono at Japan Objects Store. There are thousands of ways of how to tie an obi and today I'm going to show you three of them and all of them can be done in less than two minutes. In this tutorial I'm going to use a so-called heiko obi. Heiko obi are kimono belts that are similar to a very long scarf. So if you don't have one, you could just use a long piece of cloth um, with one feet or 30 centimeter width and length is four meter or 12 feet. Plus you will need a kimono clip and if you don't have one you could use a clothes clip or pin, um, the ones you use for hanging up your laundry. Okay, let's get started. We start by folding the width of the OB in half. As this OB is very long it helps when you also fold the length and pile it up next to you. Clip the pin onto the left collar. Fold the width of the OB again in half and measure one and a half arms length of the right end of the OB. When you do this, make sure that the open part of the OB is facing upwards. Clip the measured side onto your collar. And make sure that the opened side of the OB is facing to you. Open up the OB at the middle of your waist and wrap it around your waist. After wrapping it once, hold both ends and pull to tighten. Wrap it a second time. Take the clip off and tighten it by pulling both ends like we did before. The next step is the basis for most obi knots, so it will help when you remember this step clearly. Bring the right hand to the middle of your waist and fold the obi in half again. It looks good when you create this nice diagonal line. Take the other side of your shoulder and pull it towards your right shoulder. Lay it on the other side to create a triangle and pull it through the triangle to tie it. Pull to tighten and then put it straight upwards so it won't loosen anymore. Then tie a normal bow. When you like the bow look you of course could already go out with this bow. But that's not what you would traditionally do, so I'm gonna show you more arrangements with this bow. For a more voluminous look, wrap the long ends around the center of the bow. Make sure to wrap the ends upwards and drape the ends nicely on top. Don't forget to pull the bow round to the back. And this is what it looks like. To create a neater look for your bow, Fold the ends into half, put them nicely together 
and wrap them upwards around the middle of your bow twice. Roll the leftover length up and tuck it into the obi behind the bow. Move the bow to your back and voila! For a really cute look, make a bow that looks like candy wrapper. You can do this by putting both ends loosely together, wrapping them around the middle of the bow and tucking the leftover length into the obi under the bow. Whatever obi arrangement you make, don't forget to move the obi to your back. Do this always from left to right. After turning it, don't forget to straighten out the front of the OB so it looks nice and neat. If you're interested to learn more about kimono fashion and styling tips from experts or to buy an authentic kimono belt or OB like this, check out japanobjects.com. And you can also find more kimono advice on my own YouTube channel, Billy Matsunaga. Thank you so much for watching and look out for more kimono tutorials from Japan Objects. Bye!